All right, we're here to do a quick what's inside video of the CDI 2503 dial type uh, torque wrench. It's always interesting to see how what these work because they're just like a deflecting beam, but they just have a little mechanism inside. So let's go ahead and pull out these screws. All right, here we go. We'll knock these out. Nice chrome plated screws on this. And they're actually pretty long. These are actually really thick, heavy-duty screws. Uh, way more necessary for a plastic bottom, but that's nice to see. Oop, one short one in the back. So this little cover just drops away. So this is what's inside. And it's actually kind of neat. We'll start up here at the anvil. Let's get a little zoom in there. So here's your anvil. It's just welded to a bar. That bar, as you can see, is interestingly enough, is cantilevered. So it's welded at the back, and you can see under it. That's so that this bar can bend just a little bit. On that bar, they have a tack welded, longer, thin bar. And that's like one of the ugliest mechanisms I've actually really seen. There's some kind of piece of hex stock that they tacked, and they tacked the bar on top of that hex stock. Interesting. Uh, even the internal components are chrome plated, which is kind of, oh, I see, this was all assembled and welded, and then they plated one side, and some of it got over to the other. That's interesting. Here's your clock spring mechanism. So as you can see, and this is how it's calibrated, is this wire that comes out of the end of it has two screws and a clamp, and depending on how far in or out, it will deflect the gauge more or less. So you just set this up to where you have a known value or a digital torque wrench or something, or a torque meter, then you can use this, you would run this directly against it, couple it to the uh, digital torque wrench, and go up to 50 foot-pounds and see what the dial says, and then just adjust this rod in or out until it actually reads, whoop, reads that specific value. But see, it just, the rod connects to the back of the end link, it has a little pivot that works against the gear and a clock spring to rotate the dial. So they're pretty simple and actually surprisingly easy to calibrate. As long as you have a known test, you have to put a static load on these. So anyway, that was what was inside one of these torque wrenches. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Caddis Maximus out. Bye.